And now Webb is about to shock the courtroom. He just spit on the judge. Yo. What's good YouTube? Today we're reacting to another most disrespectful court defendants ever. I don't know why some of these just cannot shut up during court. They'd rather be disrespectful and get more years. I don't know about y'all, but if I'm ever in court, I'm gonna just take the L. All right, let's see. Let's see what's up with this video, man. Top five most disrespectful court defendants ever. This is Alan McCarty, who was arrested and charged after making death threats to a judge. Yo, that has to be one of the most broke I've ever seen. This nigga couldn't afford a chain, so his ass tattooed a chain around his neck that has to be top five most broke shit i've ever seen bro in a child custody case a judge ruled against mccarty and took away his children resulting in this huge outburst now i ain't gonna lie death threats to a judge is insane the nigga who, who could control how much years you have you want to tell that nigga to kill himself report a crime that's about to happen what do you mean a crime that's about to happen yeah there's about to be a crime that's gonna happen if my kids don't come back to me you stupid i got a gun pointed at your building where's your judge warrant at you gonna bring that out in handcuffs and i'm gonna execute that right in the street nigga how are you that dumb how are you that stupid N not only did you call from a phone that is literally located outside the building not only did you just warn them yo we gotta move the judge somewhere else you dumbass nigga yo that is actually insane did he think he was living in an episode of breaking bad or some shit nigga probably thought he was like walter white making these smart decisions now you are just gonna do more time all for some children um my daddy moved the building and i look like a idiot huh brought your dress today you little prick you wanna Yeah, that'll get to them. Tell him that his dad owns the building. That will surely tell the judge to give me less than. You know, no, 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 no. Let's give him his kids back. What? Just chat. Look, look at the way he's, he's a menace. Give him his, his kids back. That'll surely do it. Dumb ass nigga. Guilty for the original threats made to a judge. We now move on to the sentencing. What a bunch of guys, you stupid piece of then also You threatened my life. And the, uh, you, you. Damn. <laughs> bro I was reading the sentencing like, damn, bro. The amount of attachments he probably has to his original sentence is crazy. And the fact that he's disturbing the area right when he's reading his sentencing, this is the first person I've seen that's probably gotten more sentencing when reading their sentences. I don't know how to, whatever, y'all get what I'm trying to say. McCarty is moved to another room to watch the court through a one-way glass, and he continues on making a disturbance. McCarty was sentenced to 20 years in prison. The judge also issued an additional 10 day sentence due to his actions in the courtroom. This 20 years? is Daryl Brooks, Crazy. who was convicted of killing six people and injuring dozens of others. After he drove his SUV into a Christmas parade, he reached speeds of over 30 miles per hour. And Damn. the prosecution argued that his driving rampage was intentional. He plowed through 68 different people he kept going until he got to the end and there was no more bodies to hit i don't know why i'm smiling but that's exactly what i was thinking he's playing life like it's a gta yo he's crazy 68 wait it was 68 people what like, you're not in san andreas buddy this is actually real people 60 some people and the only reason he stopped was because there's no one else ahead of him yo this man is a menace bro brooks decided to represent himself in court if you are allowed to represent yourself in this case sir you will not have attorneys assisting you. They're gone from this case. No what way he's that dumb. I think I will probably be better served representing myself. Throughout the trial, Brooks was removed multiple times for constant interruptions and outbursts. <laughs> it was here that his real personality was shown when he starts to laugh during a witness testimony. He told Erica that he was gonna find her and he was gonna kill her. <laughs> Now, he's a menace. Why he but like a Twitch streamer though? Back in the courtroom, Brooks has an outburst as he didn't like how the district attorney pronounced the word defendant. I would like to provide the defendant and the court. So that had to be, that had to be said. The defendant. I got one ear that work and I heard that. This is to benefit you that you understand. Ain't nothing to benefit And now, Brooks is clearly frustrated. 
I'd be like, bro, you're worried about the wrong things. If you're worried about the enunciation of the word defendant and you rammed over it like, what, 68 people? Defendant should be the last of your worries, nigga. He decides to have the stare down with the judge. I need to take a break. This man right now is having a stare down with me. It's very disrespectful. He pounded his fist. Frankly, it makes me scared. <laughs> the jury quickly found Brooks guilty of all no, 76 charges against him. 76 charges is insane. This nigga got charged with everything in the book. The judge lost the staring contest. <laughs> okay. Brooks, and he was given six life sentences, plus more than 700 additional years in prison. Sometimes I never get the sen how sentencing works. You give bro seven life sentences in 700 years above that. What if he survives for the next 1400 years? You could just say, bro, you're never getting out. Why do you have to be so specific? But 700 years is insane. And bro wanted to represent himself. No, he knew he was gonna get caught. This is Jeremy Christian, who was found guilty of murdering two people in Portland, Oregon. Christian was on a packed train when he suddenly broke out on a racial rant towards two young women. You can see bystanders step in to attempt to stop Christian. <laughs> Unfortunately, the situation escalated and Christian stabbed and killed two men and seriously Damn. wounding a third. You can see Christian fleeing the crime scene. Passengers of the train followed him and he was arrested about a mile away. During the arrest, you can see Christian in the back of the patrol car. Okay. Christian was later found guilty of two counts of murder and attempted murder. Now, at the As he should. One of the victims delivers a victim impact statement. And Damn. this is where Christian has an outburst. To Mr. Jeremy Christian, your mom should have swallowed you. You are a waste of breath. And when you die and go to hell, I hope you rot. What? Yo, 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 I'm getting the chills. No, 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 cause, cause look, 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 look. For the most part, I'm like, you're about to go to jail, just shut up. But I swear to God, let a girl talk to me like this or any other person in court. You gotta get on her ass, buddy. I'm giving you this one free ticket because she said your mom should have swallowed you, buddy. I mean, yes, your mom should have swallowed you, mur you murder ass nigga. But still, damn. <laughs> Y'all see where the cursor is pointing. <sighs> Did he cut his own? I, I, no, no. Did Wait, what did he say about George? Bro, I'm sorry, but I feel like you bleeped out everything. I don't even know what bro said. He said the hard R? There's some, I was like, oh no, that makes sense for him to say the N-word. But I think, um, no, no, when I say it makes sense for him to say the N-word, no, no, I meant like, it feels like he did say it with the way his lip was moving. That sounds crazy. That sounds crazy. Y'all know what I mean. The judge sentenced him to two consecutive life terms, plus more than 25 years for his other convictions. Damn. This is Bass Webb, who has been charged with two counts of attempted murder in Lexington, Kentucky. You can see on this security camera, Webb tries to run over two employees at a jail he recently served time at. Now, at his first court appearance- <laughs> Bro got out of jail, and that's the first thing you're gonna do? You're gonna run over employees that were served in your jail place? I don't understand these niggas, bro. I will never understand these niggas. The judge is about to remove herself from the trial because she knew the two employees. And now Webb is about to shock the courtroom. He just spit on the judge. The judge wipes the spit off and then kicks him out of the courtroom. Turns out Webb has a very dark past. When he was behind bars, he was charged for the murder of two different girlfriends. He was found guilty of the killing of the first girlfriend. Now he's on trial for the second. Webb showed up to court with a tattoo on his head that listed people he wanted to kill at the ball. This, no. No, 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 no. I'm getting chills right now. He tattooed niggas he wants to kill and they're still giving this nigga a trial. In his list, it says all judges. Why would you bring him to any court case if he wants to kill you? Yeah, all cops, the media, prosecutors, nigga think he's the joker. <laughs>
<laughs> he doesn't want to be outside of jail. Oh, wow. He crossed off the rats. So he killed the people that snitched on him? Insane. Bottom was three rats crossed out. During the trial, Webb showed no remorse and the jury found him guilty. The judge sentenced Webb to life in prison for his crime. What is he going to do? This is Bryce Rhodes, who okay. is currently on trial for three counts of murder in Louisville, Kentucky. Rhodes reportedly begun his killing spree when he shot and killed an innocent man, mistaking him for another individual. Two brothers. No, I've, I've noticed one thing about all these disrespectful defendants. All of them are going to jail for the dumbest reasons. Like, why are you doing that? You kill someone because they mistake you for someone else, you dumbass nigga? You niggas make me sick. Damn. Others, a 16-year-old and a 14-year-old, were in the car when Rhodes committed the murder. Because they were witnesses to the crime, a few weeks later, Rhodes killed those teenagers. This gotta be the nuttest dreads I've ever seen. ...as well. You clutch these kids at all? Oh, uh, they're cool. We play basketball. I'm cool with a lot of people. Did you hang out with them on a regular basis? It was cool. Yeah, we hung out different times, you know. I need a lawyer, man, if you're going to keep all in my face. Trials have been going on for years due to Rhodes' erratic behavior, starting with blowing kisses to people in the courtroom, which included the family of the victims. That's that court riz! That's that court riz right there! I would have never thought I would see this type of riz. And next, making hand gestures. What does that even mean? Look at me, man! Mr. Rhodes, you're smiling. I don't know why you're smiling. No, oh, because I can. It's not a crime to smell. I would suggest right. you do what helps okay. you, not what hurts you. Okay. That's do what I want to do. Let's get that understood. Rhodes once had to wear. I will never get why people are trying to outsmart a judge that has their whole life in their hands. Rhodes once had to wear a spit mask because he spit on this attorney. Nice cheap shot. You a coward. Nice cheap shot. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Now, in another court appearance, Rhodes makes some bizarre accusations towards the judge. I don't know if y'all got some type of sexual relationship going on. Are you some type of racist? Which one is it? Or are you just wrong in everything that you made an ocean for? Are you a secret Ku Klux Klan member? <laughs> Uh, what? First he called him gay, and then he called him racist. Now he's accusing him of joining one of like the most. Nah, no, bro, bro. These defendants got it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. I never thought people could be this disrespectful. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I, I don't know how you could be this disrespectful in court, but apparently they just outsmarted me. Her behavior being out of control and him firing several of his lawyers. The trial has been extended much longer than expected. With it still in action, it's safe to say that Rhodes will. Motherfucker. Is this like Majin Buu? Why is there an asteroid on the back of your head? What happened here? You got the credit card swipe neck right here. I know. Ching ching. Why is there an asteroid hitting the back of your head? I was wondering why he cut his dreads. Apparently some shit happened. Will not be back on the streets anytime soon.